Example 4a, the sum of the angles s degrees in a polynomial is a linear function of the number of sides n of the poly polygon. So we're going to use s and n as our variables. We can still think x and y at first just to help us, but the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. The sum of the angles in a quadrilateral, so four-sided shape, is 360 degrees. Write a linear equation to represent this function. So in a, we're going to put our answer in slope point form. So the triangle has three sides and it's 180 degrees. A quadrilateral, meaning four sides, is 360. So the angles, so this would be 90, 90, 90, 90, adds to 360, okay? All of the sums of the angles, in, and this, again, assuming it's a rectangle, but they will always add to um, 360 if it's four sides. Three sides in a triangle add to 180. So we can think about this as a coordinate of three and 180. And this would be representing the number of sides, so n, number of sides, and s is the sum of the sides. So those are the actual coordinate variables we're using. And then this would be 4 and 360. So really, this is a question that we're a problem that really is writing a slope point form when you're given two points. So in slope point form, of course, we need a slope and a point. We have two points, so we can actually have two answers, but we first have to find slope. So if slope, if you're given two points, you're going to use your slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, equals. All right, so we're going to go y2 minus y1, so 360 minus 180, divided by 4 minus 3. So 360 minus 180 is 180 over 1. So 180 is the M value. So for slope point form, remember that we have Y minus Y1 is equal to M times X minus X1. Now the only difference is instead of X, we're going to write an N. And instead of Y, we're going to use S. So my equation would be S minus, let's say I'm using this point y coordinate is 180 equals m, my slope is 180, and my x minus 3. Close the brackets, okay? Or if I use this point, I would have s minus 360 is equal to 180, and I would have, oops, I wrote an x here. I meant to write in n. Let me fix that up. All right, and then we'd have n minus 4. Okay, so there's two answers that you could use for this one. And again, you got to be a bit careful with the variables. You can always even write it with y and x first and then change the y's to s. See how s is the y coordinate and the x is now the n coordinate.